Yo, are you guys ready for Jesus clip? I owe it to you guys. Nailed it. Jesus did not approve. Maybe because I accidentally laughed at people not being able to afford healthcare in America. It's probably why Jesus wasn't there to help me. I didn't mean to laugh. It was like one of those slightly funny things. Because it's like true, it's like an embarrassing laughter. It's like you're embarrassed that that's something that happens, right? What, 1300 a month mortgage? For a three bedroom, two bathroom? A, a tri level? So a basement, main floor, and an upstairs? True story Lake Ontario is 80% maple syrup. 1300 a month mortgage? You pay 2400 for a one bedroom? Where the hell are you from? The land of gold? One bedroom? $1,000 a month mortgage? You live in a one bedroom gold house? I get the feeling that you guys aren't getting much property with these mortgages. I'm interested in property. Like, I'll buy a small house, but if it has a big front yard and a big backyard, yeah, that, that's a steal. One bedroom, North Dakota oil field. Wow, man, that's a lot of money for one bedroom. Hey, hun, let's start our new family in our one bedroom. I got the sound lid. Yeah, but I like mowing the lawn. It's relaxing. I like taking care of my yard. If you guys are going to buy a house, okay, step number one, buy a house near school. You'll be the family without children? Oh, man. Somebody wanna- Somebody with a family will wanna gobble up that house at some point. You can bank on their desperation. Ew, you can smell it when they're trying to get the house. You're the only one selling because you don't have a family. You live near a school and you got no family? Why the hell are you there? That's- I'm there to sell to you, poor saps. You don't have a choice! Yeah, North British Columbia, yeah. It's so isolated there, that's why. I mean, nothing... You probably get crap internet out there, too. All those sexy... That is absolutely, extremely inappropriate, I am Hazardo. That is extremely, extremely inappropriate. Like, not even funny. Like, I'm kind of upset at you for saying that. You've done some jokes here. Like, I know you're... you're a jokester, but that is extremely inappropriate. That's so far from funny. <laughs> it's 
better off. You bought a 1,500 square foot house, and they built a new elementary school three blocks away. Yo, ranking in the dough. I was appraised for more already. Ranking in the dough. I won't stay mad at Hazardo. Just disappointed. That's all. Oh, yo, guys! I forgot to give the two gift subs to the winners. I was in the middle of a run. Who, who were the double winners? The double whammies? The double whammy, yeah, there was two winners. Slagathor, you were one of them? I can pick someone at random. You got it. Double Whammy sounds like a candy bar. Is there a candy bar called Double Whammy? I know there's a candy bar called Whammy, isn't there? I picked the guy who is grateful for just having a roof over his head. I like the sounds of that guy. Yo, Wimpy, what's up, man? Flower love. Flower love indeed. Thank you for the, this tier one sub. Oh my god, that's double whammy subs right there. <laughs> we got Sniping Soup with the tier one sub. Thank you. And Enigma with the gift sub. Thank you so much. First gift sub to the channel. <laughs> Corruptors. I bought 100 square feet of land. My mortgage is 700. No bedrooms, no bathrooms. Just... Just a 2x4 frame with some plywood. It's my little shed. Yep, just my little shed. <laughs> Bubbles, right? I can't remember what our house is. I can't remember how many square feet our house is. But our house is two, two, bath, two full bathrooms. None of this half shit. And it's three bedroom. <laughs> Move up. Oh! 
Dude! They don't get a fair chance if I use this star. Yeah, I mean, de depending on, like, that's the interesting thing with money, is that if you live within your means and you undercut a lot of stuff, you can have more money than you than you think that you could have or achieve. The only problem is with living in that lower end of the bracket is the random stupid life shit that happens. Oh, my fridge exploded. You're like, fuck, man. I feel like wages and companies and governments, like, they they just look at it as, oh, you make this amount of money, oh, you should survive just fine. What about all that bad string of luck that always happens? It's so annoying, man. Oh, my fridge broke next week. Oh, my washing machine broke. Oh, I don't have clean clothes for work. Oh, now my job's at stake. Right? Oh, stupid crap. Welcome to the wonderful world of owning a home. Paycheck to paycheck, baby. Put in the maintenance request. Yeah, until you get yourself on your feet, apartment living is pretty, pretty good idea. You don't want to raise kids in an apartment, though. I have no answer as to why you don't want to do that. I just said that. <laughs> Back in your cage, you little hoodlums. I'll feed you once I've finished eating. I did not vote today, no. Did you vote today? Some apartments are pretty nice, right? Dude, why is this level being such a fucking asshole? Seriously, fuck off. I need to actually time how much time of time loss that is. Walls are actually pretty thick in apartments, at least the ones that I lived in. Except there was like an abusive man in one of the other apartments. Me and Chad were always like, uh-oh. You could like hear them fighting and screaming. Good times, man, good times.
Yeah, I think that's the worst part about living in an in apartments is people above you make a noise like with their feet and drop and shit and move and stuff. I think there was uh, this family or something above us that always moved chairs on the floor without lifting up the chair. Oh, that noise is so annoying. When you skid a chair on the kitchen floor. Fuck. The noise doesn't irritate me. It's just like, why don't you pick up the chair? I don't understand. One thing I dislike the most, and I, I know a lot of people live in them, and it, I grew up in them as well, is I hate, like, townhouses and, like, little Siamese houses and little duplexes and um, little communities where everyone has, like, the same house and they're attached and they're, they're not very... They're little townhouses. Everyone, like, knows everyone. Uh, I don't know. I don't like it very much. I grew up I grew up in that like kind of area a little bit and I don't know I understand them they're cheap and well priced but yeah don't take offense I told you I grew up in those locations I and I don't like them it does nothing to do with you guys you make the best of what you have not try to make the best of my experience you know that's why I like the headphones that I have I don't like uh, using like iPhone or iPlugs not iPlugs the things for like iPods and headphones like the earplugs I use them for drumming like earplugs but not iPlugs well not airpods airpods I thought AirPods weren't as common because they're like really expensive. Yeah, just earbuds. They should be called eye plugs though. There's nothing worse than being out in public and you have headphones in and you get uninvited conversations and then you're the asshole because you're like hey man like I'm just kind of like listen to my music I don't care <laughs> as bad as it sounds but like I'm on a mission that day okay I'm listening to my music I got my shit to do I got my thinkings okay I don't want random people getting mad at me or being super judgy because I don't want to take my headphones out I'm not out here to talk to you, stranger. Stranger danger. I used to do a lot of foot travel, bus stations, uh, go trains, a lot of transit, city transit, city traveling. There's always someone who wants to stop and talk to you. Union stations, subways. There's always someone. Always someone wanting to talk.
<laughs> right? That's kind of what it's like. It's like, so are you done talking to me? Or how's the rest of this conversation going to go? I saw you had earphones in, so I thought you wanted to talk to me. Oh, you must... You definitely got the right idea there. I noticed you were sitting on a bench with your head down, bobbing up and down with headphones in, and you were looking at your phone, and I thought, I think this guy wants me to talk to him. So I came over and uh, tapped you on the shoulder. Yeah, I've, I've actually been pretty good with people talking to me on the airplanes. I only had one one older lady who was talking to me a lot on the airplane. And I, I was unsure if it was because she was nervous for takeoff and she was just trying to, like, talk. But, like, yo. I got a couple episodes left of this show that I need to watch. Then I gotta go pick the movie that I download. Like, I'm busy on this flight, okay? I got lots of work to do with my media on this flight. I don't got time to talk to you. People who travel do actually have some pretty good stuff to say. It's people where like you're standing in line and they come up to you, they come up to you and they're like, Shh. This line could be longer, couldn't it? You know, they say something stupid, like, Oh, I'm still standing in line. I'm 64 years old, and I still gotta stand in lines. It's like, why are you talking to me, man? Why are you talking to me about that? Happened to you an hour at the grocery store, standing in line? It's like, oh my god, dude. I will not be with that guy one day. I under I'm very polite in public. Like, I would never give people a bad look. Or I would- you know what I mean? I make sure the person feels invited when they've intruded in my- my me time, my quiet time. Right? I make sure, you know, I'm not rude or anything. But... Man, I'm like the last person they should be talking to because I really don't care. In public, in public like that, like taking a train, taking a bus, taking a flight, I gotta walk somewhere that takes an hour. I, I'm, I really don't want to be bothered. I, I plan the trip around doing a whole bunch of me stuff because it's when you have time, right? You throw your headphones in. You listen to your music you haven't listened to in a while. You want to watch some videos you never had time to see. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm just more on the degen side, I guess. I'm just not a very sociable person during those times. Here's some good examples of times when, when it's okay to talk to me. If I'm ever at the gas station, you can talk to me because no matter what you say or do, you know you only have a limited time to talk to me. It's the unspoken truth. Right? You couldn't possibly have any more time than me filling up my tank and then driving away. The grocery store, because I'm going down that next aisle, you can't stop- I'm not stopping my aisle walking at the grocery store because you're talking to me. So you have like 15 seconds to say what you're saying. Cause I'm grocery shopping. Smile. Yo, hoodies girl, what's going on? Thank you. Also, we have Tyler MMC Don with the Twitch Prime. And then we have Grim Joe with the seven months. Welcome back. And then we have hoodies girl for two months, eight total. Thank you so much. A urinal chat, as a guy, most guys understand the urinal chat. We're kind of okay with it. We're not... Most guys aren't too hard on urinal chat, but a, urinal chatting is a risk for men because if you try to urinal chat with somebody who's really not 
into urinal chatting, it's just going to be an uncomfortable experience. Exactly. So I don't talk to anyone at the urinal. I don't do urinal talks. Yeah, don't make eye contact with somebody else peeing. I never really... Crime Zone 19, or cri Crimson, sorry, Crimson 19. Thank you so much. <laughs> Misery Diners, two months in a row. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. The odds... I don't know. Lots of people... Yeah, bars. Bars and, like... Sports games. Lots of urinal talks. Because you guys are all there for one thing. You're most likely going to comment or speculate on the game anyways. During urinal talk. People have had some drinks. They're a little more comfortable. You love pee throughs, you can have so much fun. What the hell is a pee through? I've never heard of that. Yo, B swinged, what's up, man? Fuck's a P. Oh, P trough. Okay, sorry. I, I read P through. Sorry. Yeah, P trough. Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. Why, did, why would you have. What? Why would you have fun with that? You're just peeing. Now I want to see a P through. I know what a trough is, double base. Disgusting. It's funnier to write your name in the snow. Aw, oh, man. You know, no, no girls in chat can really chime in on this. We are sorry, but... You know, we have a fire hose and you don't, so... It's not our fault. We got these cool tools. Really like it either, my Komogata. I, I'm not. I don't want to be talking to when I'm going to the bathroom. Not interested in that. Stuff. I do not watch I will, don't watch videos of that kind of thing sounds sad though poor poor old guy god I can't even think about the embarrassing things yeah I figured I figured whenever you have a kid you have to be way more open to the depletion of bodily fluids.
Like you have to you have to go into a public bathroom, you got your kid and they need to go and most kids just rip their clothes off and you're like, I'm sorry, and then she started and then you have to go and it's just kids are a nightmare, man. Like with kids, you like I'm I don't I'm not okay with being puked on, you know? But when you have a kid, that's that's the norm, man. That's that's normal, you know? It's not adorable. You start hearing yourself talk more. Right? Because they never listen. <laughs> caring for a child is like caring for a drunk person 24-7. Yeah, they're all fucking bobbing and weaving and they can't keep their own balance and they just randomly puke and shit their pants. They cry. The only thing that children don't do, that normal adult drunks do, is smoke. That's it. That's the only thing they're missing. Smoking and drinking more. Yep. Yeah, they always got hopped up on their bottles. Yeah, except adult drunks don't get diaper changes. Yo, Roto Disco! What up, man? That's the name of what we're about to see in two seconds. These Death Waffles guys are actually called Roto Discs. Whee! Yo, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. I actually almost just got fucked there. really appreciate it, man. That's 10 bucks. Thank you, dude. Well, I mean, most people prefer death waffles. <laughs> I heard that when you lie, your pants spontaneously combust is that true to 100 terminator 100 terminator 100 bonus 30 does twitch have a thing with terminator right now that's why i don't wear pants yeah but if you're not wearing pants then we already know you're lying that's how we debunk your lies put your pants on let's see let's see if you're telling the truth why won't you put your pants on, huh? If you're telling the truth, should be no problem. Yeah, they got the Terminator thing going on right now. When I say I hate a level, I'm saying I hate that I messed up in this level, pretty much. I like the design of almost all the levels, except for 7-4. I guess when I say I hate 7-4, I hate the fact that it's a two-minute water auto-scroller. But most of the other levels like. Oh, we've been having lots of crazy talks, Noise Marine. Also, what's up? What up? Pajama pants count as pants. Of course. AGDQ is most likely January 5th.
Are they also hanging from a telephone wire? I need to know for future. I can beat the polygraph machine, but I can't beat the pants fire telephone wire. stream jumping too. I'm a pretty big stream jumper. This is my no, my favorite SMB3 category is any percent worthless. But not anymore. This one's kinda growing on me. Call me Tater Chip. Yo, what's up, Biggs? How you doing, man? Ah, uh, the bros are awesome because we're we're back at a hundred percent now. We're back at the good gaming, top tier gaming. All forts is toxic. I don't think it's healthy for anyone to run that category. Forts is fine. I'm just mad at it. That's all. Don't take me seriously. Do whatever you want. All forts is bad for your health. Dr. C rules. Here with another bruise rules. All forts. Don't run it, dummy. All forts is really bad for my Mario 3 cartridges. That's correct. <sighs> Where are my time saves on my PB? Uh, I have a little bit of time to save in World 7. I have time to save in World 6. I have time to save in World 4, and I have time to save in World 2. lose time in world five man it's so hard like my world five was so incredible Thank you. Hammer Brothers have been really bad tonight.
I stop onto the cards sometimes so I don't get three of the same card. Because then I have to do a little cutscene. Up. Gotta back it up. Yeah, right off the ledge. Back it up. Uh, I didn't back it up good enough there. Here, we'll get a good ass backage right here. Yeah. Right into the wall. <laughs> Am I strictly SMB3? What do you mean? Like, is Mario 3 the only Mario game that I'll play? No, I play... I play everything. Tell you from two different and completely opposite ends of the spectrum. I like Hearthstone and I like Fortnite. I like Gears of War 5 and I like Tetris. I like Mario and I like Resident Evil. Right? I like everything. I like every game, all games. Man, games are fun. That's what I'm into. That's what I do. That's my life. I have not played Tetris 99 though, no. I've watched a lot of it though, it's crazy. AKA Mr. Unicorn. I won't stream Tetris 99 now. Tetris. Dude, I had to watch out for that hammer. Yo, and Murphy, 55, welcome back for three months, dude. Really appreciate that. Of course. Just to dick me. Just to dick me. Was pretty good that was pretty good from the stuff we did earlier today that was pretty good pretty pretty good Woo! Kadonk! right down on the ground When I was in my inventory and I selected the P-Wing, I noticed the P-Wing's two inputs to the left after this one. Optimal menuing. Can I get some more coins here, please? Yes, Mario has a lot of problems with his head. He bonks it too many times. Wee! Oh, it's over. I don't know if I lose time by activating the white mushroom house, so I'm not going to.
Back that tail up. Yeah, back it up. Wait, I need to use this. Back it up. Oh, I face forward. That's rude. Platformer concussions. That would be like the parkour stuff, right? Ah, uh, yes, coin ships move exactly like Hammer Brothers because they are the Hammer Brothers. Did you did you mean White Mushroom House is my, or did you mean the coin ships? Because they yeah they still move on the map like mushroom or like Hammer Brothers. They took over the Hammer Brother. Those are some speedrun daily activities, yeah, but I don't know why you would mow your lawn every day. It seems a little overkill and waste of gas. No, I stopped doing all forts because it controls way too much of the run. It controls way too much. The Hammer Brothers. So first and foremost, in all forts, you can't get a run going unless the music box in World 2 moves out of your way. And according to my runs, he always moves right when you start the world. So that's an instant 15 second time loss, pretty much. About 12 to 13 seconds for the battle and having it in your inventory in your way the whole time is just another, another problem. Then, the Hammer Brother in World 3, you want to skip the star, so if he's in your way, that's an even bigger time loss. That's like almost a 20 second time loss because now you can't do fire route in world six because you have a star. Then you have to hope to only get one hammer brother in world four, then one hammer brother in world five. And if you decide not to get the one hammer brother in world five, then you have to do a clip in seven, six. So you're throttled that way. And then you have to get lucky in world six again. And yeah, so it's it it's worse than warpless RNG. And warpless is good now because of the early hammer manip, so I don't have to worry about it. But that World 2 Hammer Brother. I will try and find a way to use the music box in World 2 where like it might not cost you time, but I don't think so. I don't think it can be used at all. And that sucks. <laughs> He was gaining on me! <laughs> so, whenever I play all forts and like two hours straight, the Hammer Brother in World 2 just moves right. Which is bad. It's... It's just like... 
it's hard to continue a speed run when you're going for the world record when you're just walking into you know a 12 to 15 second time loss when you don't have to right so it's <sighs> runners in mario 3 are a lot more lenient later in the run if a bad thing happens they're like whatever i'll just keep going but right two minutes into the run two minutes into the run sucks man like so much First try, baby. No, it wasn't Joker Pants. Nope. You can still skip another Hammer Brother and do a different route with fire in World 6. Save a bit more time. All forts can probably be down to a mid-42 or a little bit lower, like a 40, a 42 2x, I'd say, is like top tier all forts. And hand RNG isn't even something I worry about too much. I'm not... I'm not too concerned about hand RNG. It's whatever. Love that. Two eighty two eighty three in the pipe, two eighty one's pretty good. That was pretty hot, yeah. All right, fishies. Creatures, sea creatures, creatures are sea creatures, and they're sea creatures, the sea. Look at them! Get out of it! Get out of here! Oh my god! I cannot handle this shit! These goddamn sea creatures! God damn it, dude! Oh my god, every fucking time! That's a big time loss. Because now I have to menu clouds and shit. So fucking stupid, man. Drives me insane, dude. Come the fuck on. That's right. What's this guy doing? Get the hell out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah. The aquatic life strikes again. The hairy fish. And this guy, get the fuck out of my way. Oh, look, I'm safe. What a surprise. That blooper is never there at the start. I can't believe he took that from me. Why I oughta. See, normally with my tail, I could flutter over this gap, but now I have to do a turn back like that. It really sucks. You lose, a, you lose a little bit of time from it. Now I have to use a cloud. See what I mean? See the time loss? 
I had my tail, I could just go straight to the fortress, then use a P-Wing here. So, sadly, that's an, an unfortunate time. I can't believe that fucking 7-4, man. So stupid. Either way, it's still fun. It's still a good time. I got to yell at them. No way! It, like, hurt my throat a bit. You gotta go hard, though, for work, you know, guys? You gotta go hard, man. Oh, the little stairs are so cute. But I hate them. The guys, the guys that shoot the little black balls, they are, um, what's that timing called? Where their, their timer is still going at the beginning of the level. I don't need to spawn them. Global, they have a global timer. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was it too. Jumping so low, like, fuck off. Now I jump too high, like fuck off. There you go. When that happens, that means I got bad RNG. I did it perfectly. So I've already done it twice, I've got bad R RNG though. There you go, I just did it again. Just did it again. I'm getting bad sub-pixels. Now my thumb really hurts because of the D-pad. I'm holding left and right for so long. New cartridge, time to go. Oh, yo, let's listen to the crack star. Have you guys ever heard a star when the timer's running out? It's like being on crack. Listen to this. Beat the level. You're sorry. What are you sorry for? clip ever. Sorry the run died. You don't have to be sorry. I don't really care. We got more runs coming. Yo, the run's going pretty good, Neo.
All right, we're doing it, guys. I tried. I tried. Didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs>